Now let's talk a little bit about word navigation in Vim. We know that we can use key W to go to the beginning of the next word, key B to go to the beginning of the previous word, key E to go to the end of the next word, and finally, sequence of keys G, E to go to the end of the previous word. But these keys are not going to work if, for example, we'd like to jump between words that are combined into one word by using different notations, such as camel case, snake case, and so on. Because if we're going to use those keys, we'll be jumping over the whole word at once. But there are also additional sequence of keys that allow us to navigate between words that are combined into one word. So to jump between words in one big word, we can use sequence of keys opening square bracket W. This way we'll be jumping to the beginning of the next word. And to jump to the beginning of the previous word, we can use opening square bracket B. And then to jump to the end of the next word, we can use closing square bracket W. And to jump to the end of the previous word, we can use closing square bracket B. But especially for me, I'd like to use normal keys W, B, E, and G, E to jump over such words. So I'm going to define several mappings in configuration file and bind functionality to jump over words that are combined into one big word by using different notations to those single keys. So in the first case, instead of pressing sequence of key opening square bracket W to go to the beginning of the next word, I'm going to use just W. The next mapping will be pretty similar, but in this case, I'm going to use key E to jump to the end of the next word. And finally, we're going to define a couple more such mappings to bind key B to be responsible for jumping to the beginning of the previous word. Instead of pressing sequence of key, opening square bracket B, and to jump to the end of the previous word instead of pressing closing square bracket B, I'd like to use sequence of keys G, E. And what all those mappings will allow us to do is to use the same key to jump around words, regardless if those words are part of bigger word or individual words. So now it's time to check it out. Let's not forget to source this configuration file by pressing sequence of keys space CS. Let's switch over to the previous file and try it out. So now I'm gonna press W and as you can see, as I'm pressing W, I navigate to the beginning of the next word that is part of this bigger word that uses camel case notation. And if we'll try other keys to move to the beginning of the previous word by pressing B, or to move to the end of the next word by pressing E, or to go to the end of the previous word by pressing G, E, all those keyboard shortcuts have expected behavior. By the way, I have also noticed that when pressing sequence of keys space CS to source configuration file, for some reason, it highlights all matches of the previously executed search. I'm not sure why exactly that happens, but at least we can fix it. So let's switch over to the configuration file, find the definition of this sequence of keys to source configuration file, and right to the end of this command, let's add the following command to remove highlight from search matches, no HL search, and press enter. So that means that when we're going to press space CS to source configuration file, besides sourcing the file, it is also going to execute no HL search command to remove highlighting from search matches. And now if we'll try to press space CS once again, we will see that search matches are not highlighted anymore. Also to make it clear what the following set of mappings are responsible for, I'm going to add additional explanation right here and say that those shortcuts are responsible for word navigation that also takes under consideration different notations such as camel case. But please note, this is not only applicable to camel case notation, 
if I'm going to use different notation, such as snake case, we can see that those mappings work with this notation as well. I can easily navigate to the beginning of the next word, as well as beginning of the previous word. And also, I can easily navigate to the end of the next word and previous words by using the respective keys. So that's about it for word navigation. In the next lesson, we'll move on to something else.